treat fund. Why did I get this again? I thought we were on a diet. Hi guys, Jenny with Jenny Squad here and I'm back today for another Dollar Tree haul. As always, I am very excited to show you what I found, but real quick, thank you for those of you that took time out of your day to come watch my video. And for those of you that are new, I do Dollar Tree hauls along with Dollar General hauls and hauls from other stores I shop at. That's all I have for today. Now let's get into the haul. All right guys, so let's jump right into the haul today. It's completely random. Um, I do have, I think a couple Easter things, but everything else is just random. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this treat fund little uh, shadow box that has a little slot for coins and money. This is so cute. Like look at the little images of food in the back there. This is right up my alley. It is all uh, kawaii looking like little foods like pizza and a burger. And if you guys have seen my videos, you know that I am very into kawaii things. So this was just adorable to me. This is a new one that I just saw recently. Um, I saw another one that was there before which had coffee fund on it I think but this one was new to me so I thought that was really cute so I did pick this up to give to my daughter so I'm gonna give that to her and then the next things that I found were these toothbrushes that I'm actually going to give to my nephews and these are poppin toothbrushes bpa free and they have a little kind of character on each of them and what you do is you push the belly button and it actually extends the brush handle up like this like in the picture so you push the little belly button and it's just kind of a fun little toothbrush they can use it shows you on the back here how it kind of works and then, um, you know, you, each of them, like I said, just has a little character, but this is not a Dollar Tree brand. This is the Brush Buddies brands. And it looks like they have all these different characters on the back. But I was only able to find the lion one, so I got the lion. And then I found the cow. And I think they all have different names. This one says Milky Wayne. <laughs> the lion is Ricky. Which Ricky? Oh, okay. Interesting. This one is an elephant. So how cute is this? And her name is Haley. But these are adorable. I think these are super fun for kids to use. They are soft. Uh, they have the soft bristles on them. But how cute are these? These would even be great for travel because they have basically their own little built-in kind of um, toothbrush cap on them already. So I thought those were such a good find. And then I found these really cute signs. So this one says, hands full, house full, heart full. And I actually got this for my sister because like I said, she just had another baby. So that makes number four for her. So I thought this would be perfect in her house. Maybe she could put it somewhere um, in her house for... Uh, the boys and everything like that so I just thought this was really cute and it suited her house so I am going to give her this and then I found of course I dropped something it's tradition and then I found this one which is really cute it says adventure is calling I just really liked the the saying on this one I don't know how I feel about the green frame I don't really have a lot of like green in my house per se so I guess I could just change the color of this frame or just use the inside or something and put it in a different frame the plastic kind of ripped here a little bit but um I just thought this was really cute so I did pick this up they did have different ones with different sayings on them so I would double check your store to see uh which ones they have of these but I just thought it was really cute you can also hang it up like this in the back here and you can also set it you know somewhere if you wanted to uh, I also found this Scrub It 2-in-1 non-scratch microfiber cleaning pad, which is awesome because, what? Like, you can get these really nice cleaning pads for a dollar. So, I did pick these up. Uh, it says you can use them on glasses, dishes, pots and pans, sinks, and cooktops. 
I plan on just using it for cleaning up the counters and things like that or the sink because I do use a scrub daddy for uh, dishes and things like that, which I absolutely love, by the way. But these also uh, seem like they would work really well. They have a scrubbing side, which is this side. And then on the inside, if you could see, they have like a microfiber side. So these are a really great find. And then I also found this um, Aches and Pains Nighttime Relief Mineral Soak Bath. And it's by Village Naturals. And it looks like this. And they have some different ones there. So I just picked this one up. It says Epsom Sea Salt, uh, Menthol, and Lavender. So I picked those up. Uh, this one up. Specifically, I was going to give it to my sister in her Easter basket uh, because I do give her a few things for Easter as well. So I picked this up for her. I figured she could probably use this right about now. So um, it also says 98% naturally derived and you basically just uh, sprinkle them into warm water, a bath or a little foot bath or something if you wanted to, but I thought this would be really good for her. So I grabbed that. And then I also picked up this over and out game. So this says from the makers of the sequence game. I've never seen this before. And this is by Jack's Games. Uh, and it's ages seven through adult, two to eight players. And it just says it's the exciting numbers game for players of all ages. It's a fun way for kids to learn adding and subtracting too. Add your cards to the pile, but don't go over the tip top limit as the numbers add up. So does the excitement. So I will have to look and see what this is all about, but this is what it looks like on the back. And this is a super cool find for just a dollar because it's not one of those like Dollar Tree games, which are completely fine too, but these are actually like name brands because they are from um, the makers of the sequence game, which is a name brand game. So I think this is a very cool find. Uh, I was really excited to find this there. So I grabbed that one. And then I also found these um, Wildflower Blend Sunny Area Flowers. So I did pick these up to put them in a basket for like uh, someone who would enjoy gardening and things like that. So I picked that up and these have the $2.99 price on them, but it has this large packet. Uh, it says it covers 100 square feet. I thought this was really pretty. I would probably use this. Um, in my front yard just to see how they work. I have heard that uh, these work very well. So I plan on trying it this year to see how it goes. Um, the next thing I picked, sorry if you hear my dog just sneezing everywhere. <laughs> in the world. Um, I also picked up this other little bunny. So how cute is this bunny for like a little Easter basket? And it's just the little fuzzy friends. Uh, they, they have a bunch of these in there. But I thought this one was really cute and it's super soft. So I thought I would just throw that in my daughter's basket just for funsies. Just as a little cute, you know, addition. So I grabbed that. I also found these. Now they always have these at Dollar Tree. But guys, tell me how pretty these are looking now. Like I feel like these look more realistic than they used to. So these, like the greenery itself, I feel like looks so much better than it ever has. So this is the lavender, but I picked up this bunch, which has white and the purple in it, which I think is just so pretty. And like I said, the greenery itself is just so much nicer. It's fuller and it's a more realistic kind of color. And then the purple, of course, is this one. And I just like you get so many in here with the greenery and everything for a dollar. And I picked up two of those, but together they just, I mean, they look so pretty. And I think it's just such a nice combination for spring. So I did grab these uh, just to have on hand in case I wanted to use them for DIYs or anything like that. I also randomly, which is really strange, picked up this heart wreath form, which is really weird that they have these out right now. Um, I would think they had them around Valentine's Day, but I just found one at this time. They do have these usually all the time. Uh, they don't keep them out all year, but they do come out at some point. So I grabbed this one. I thought this would be cute just to have greenery on it and, you know, keep it out all year. So I thought that was great. Sorry about my dog. 
you know, this is why I try to avoid filming in this area. <laughs> the dogs are just so crazy. All right, and then I got this little chicky bucket. How cute is this? This is a very, very cute Easter bucket. So I picked him up. I think this is adorable. And this is perfect for a boy or a girl. So I really, really love this. I think it's so cute. I will probably use it for one of my nephews. And I think it's just the cutest little thing. So I grabbed that. And then I also picked up just this little peanut butter Russell Stover's chocolate in Russell Stover's is name brand and this is a pretty good size. Now I will say that when I get like chocolate bunnies for my daughter she never finishes them or eats them so I am glad too that they have like the smaller ones that I can kind of give still in her Easter basket. So I did grab this peanut butter one. And that is all I have for today. So thank you so, so much for stopping by and listening to my dogs in the background. <laughs> I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to stop by for my next haul, which will be on Wednesday. And thank you so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.